It's me again, Teacher Wilson. Today, we will learn about the circulatory system. The circulatory system. Body systems are groups of organs and tissues that work together to perform important jobs for the body. Some organs may be part of more than one body system and they serve more than one function. One of the systems in our body is the circulatory system. Circulatory system is also called the cardiovascular system or the vascular system. It is an organ system that permits blood to circulate and transport nutrients such as amino acids and electrolytes, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hormones, and blood cells too, and from the cells in the body, provide nourishment and help in fighting diseases, stabilize temperature, and maintain homeostasis. Here are the parts of circulatory system and their functions. The first part is the blood. Blood is the fluid that carries oxygen from the lungs to the different cells of the body. It is consisting of plasma, erythrocyte, leukocyte, and thrombocyte. Plasma is the large part of the blood. Erythrocytes are red blood cells that are typically biconcave disc and without a nucleus. Leukocytes are colorless cells that circulate in the body and body fluids and are involved in counteracting foreign substances and diseases. They are also known as white blood cells. Thrombocyte is a tiny disc-shaped piece of cells that is found in blood and spleen. Blood vessels. Blood vessels are pathways or closed tubes where blood flows throughout channel. Blood vessels have five types, the artery, arterioles, veins, venules, and capillaries. The artery is any of the muscular wall tube forming part of the circulation system by which blood, mainly that which has been oxygenated, is conveyed from the heart to all parts of the body. The arterioles are a small branch of an artery leading into capillaries. The veins are any of the tubes forming part of the blood circulation system of the body, carrying in most cases oxygen depleted blood toward the heart. The venules are very small veins, especially collecting blood from the capillaries. The capillary is any of the fine branching blood vessels that form a network between the arterioles and venules. Heart is a muscular organ about the size of a fist, located just behind and slightly left of the breastbone. It is divided into parts that work together to keep you alive. Atria are the upper cavity of the heart which blood is passed to the ventricles. Ventricles are the hollow parts in the heart. Valves are actually flaps that act as one way inlets for blood coming into a ventricle and one way outlets from blood leaving a ventricle. The four valves of our heart are tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve, pulmonary valve. Here are some health problems associated with cardiovascular or circulatory system. Let's talk first about the health problems related to blood. The first one is anemia. Anemia is an abnormal low number of RBCs or by decrease in the amount of hemoglobin present in the blood. The second one is leukemia. Leukemia is cancer of the body's blood forming tissues, including blood does not clot properly. The next one is health problems related to blood vessels. The first one is aneurysm. 
occurs when part of an artery wall weakens, allowing it to balloon out or widen abnormally. Coronary artery disease. It is caused by plaque buildup in the walls of the arteries that supply blood to the heart called coronary arteries and other parts of the body. Varicose veins. Varicose veins are swollen and enlarged veins that usually occur in the legs and feet. Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are swollen veins in your lower rectum. Atherosclerosis. It is a disease of the arteries characterized by the deposition of blocks of fatty material on their inner walls. Health problems related to the heart. The first one is congenital heart defect. It is the most common type of birth defect. The defect can involve the walls of the heart, the valves of the heart, and the arteries and veins near the heart. Arrhythmia A condition in which the heart beats with an irregular or abnormal rhythm. Rheumatic heart fever A condition in which permanent damage to heart valves is caused by rheumatic fever. Heart block it is a condition where the heart beats more slowly or with an abnormal rhythm. Here are some effective ways to improve and maintain heart health. First, eat the right food. Second, get enough sleep. Third, exercise daily. Fourth, stop smoking. And lastly, manage stress. That's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you've learned a lot of things. See you next time. Bye!